basically half of the population today is living in cities. We are expecting that in the next 15 years, more than one billion people more will come to live in cities. That implies to build a city as large as Paris Center every 15 days during the next 15 years. So, uh, basically above 80% of the GDP is in the cities already. About 75% of the greenhouse gas emissions are coming from the cities right now. And the sign in the right cities for the future is part, a key part, I would say, of the solution to tackle climate change. And at the same time, to create more compact, connected, coordinated cities that will increase the productivity and the quality of human life all the world. The way to do that is to learn from the someone else's experiences. That's important because uh, once a mayor or governor takes office, basically there are a lot of things to do. You need to establish clearly your own priorities. And in order to do that, it's quite important to learn from others what exactly must be done. So going all the way, for instance, to promote massive transportation systems, instead the traditional fostering of uh, public works more oriented to individual cars is, is a basic thing. Other is how to improve the quality and the regulations in buildings and other stuff related with climate and at the same time related with quality of life is crucial for improve the quality of life in the cities.